Rebecca, I'm sorry, it's a little hard to hear here because the meeting has just left out. There are about 700 people who have just come out and who have been listening to Charlie Munger for over two hours, take questions from the audience, wax on about everything from uh, the national debt to what he thinks about the secret to a long life. He also took questions from people about whether politicians should actually be telling companies if they can buy back stocks. And here's what he had to say on that front. Generally speaking, I'm restrained in my enthusiasm for politicians telling corporations what they should do. But I will say this, when it was a very good idea for companies to buy back their stock, they didn't do very much. And when the stocks got so high priced that it's frequently a bad idea, they're doing a lot. Welcome to adult life. <laughs> this is the way it is, but it's questionable at the present levels whether a lot of it is smart. Was Eddie Lambert smart to buy back so much shares of Roebuck? No. And a lot of, there's a lot of that kind of mistake that's been made. He was also asked about Berkshire Hathaway's biggest holding, and that's shares of Apple. Uh, last year, last May on CNBC, he actually told us that he wished that Berkshire was buying even more shares of Apple. Today, uh, an 11 year old boy from China in the audience asked him why he thinks shares of Apple have come under pressure. Well, I don't know why Apple stock is going up or down. I know enough about it, so I admire the place. But I don't know enough to, to have any big opinion about why it's going up or down recently. Part of our secret is that we don't attempt to know a lot of things. We have a, I have a pile on my desk that solves most of my problems. It's called the too hard pile. And I just keep shifting things to the too hard pile. And every once in a while, an easy decision comes along and I make it. That's my system. Everything was the too hard pile, except for a few easy decisions which I make promptly. He, he was also asked right at the end of the meeting why uh, Warren Buffett is richer than he is, and he had a few answers. He said, well, first of all, Warren started earlier. He said Warren's probably a little bit smarter than him, and he probably worked harder. And then he paused for a moment and he said, why am I richer than Albert Einstein was? Crowd laughed at that and uh, enjoyed what was there. That was about the end of the meeting. They've wrapped things up. Now, we're about to sit down with Charlie Munger for an interview that we will be rolling out on Squawk Box tomorrow. There are a lot of things I plan to ask him. But, uh, guys, one of the things I'd really like to ask him about is what he thinks about Amazon making this decision to pull out of New York City, um, what the consequences might be for New York City and beyond.